Every single one of us suffers from one degree or another. The question I'm asking, do you unite your sufferings with Jesus' passion? If not, why not? Are we all not called to take up our cross and to follow Christ? When we suffer, and we do so while sticking close to Jesus, constantly seeking the Lord's permission to allow my suffering to be in tandem with his passion to cross, we build up hope, we build up faith, we build up love. We build up hope because we know by sticking close to Jesus, no matter what difficulty we face, we know it will not have the final say in our lives. That the suffering we endure only intensifies our hope for heaven, full communion with God. Why? Because we embrace our cross and we follow the Lord. And the cross is the doorway to heaven. We build up faith because the more we suffer and stick as close as we can to Jesus, the more we're able to endure. And the more we endure, the more we get to feel the strength and the holy presence of God with us, holding us through difficult moments. We build up love because when we unite our sufferings and difficulties with Jesus' own passion and suffering on the cross, we begin to turn outwards. The cross of Jesus is about others, his love for us. He poured out his life for us just so you and I have the chance to reach heaven. True love turns our hearts outwards for another. Our suffering, when united with Jesus, is no different. Friends, now you can begin to see what is wrong with our world, why our society is so sick at the moment, why racism and hatred for others is on the rise, why the woke culture feeds a society to become victims, a cultic movement that uses people's either real or imaginary victimhood to demolish other people's lives and society. Have we forgotten how to suffer? In jettison our Christian roots and heritage and faith, we have thrown the baby out with the bathwater. When we suffer and do so with Jesus in our life, and we do so without prayer, without building up a Christian virtue and holiness by partaking the sacraments of the church, we turn in on ourselves. We get angry. We start to blame other people. We easily give in to despair because we start to see life as a game of luck. And now I'm suffering. I can't live the life that I want to live. And because I don't know Jesus, I have no hope of life after death. I have no meaning in my suffering. So what happens? I give into despair. I give into anger. And so it becomes somebody else's fault. I start pointing figures, fingers and judging others for my own problems. And so my life gets bitter, resentful, and like a domino effect, it affects society, which descends into warring factions and chaos. The lesson of Holy Week of Christianity is crucial for both our own individual personal lives and society at large, if we hope to grow in peace and order. Jesus, who is God in human flesh, came to save us from death and darkness. How? By turning suffering in this world into the vehicle for eternal life. Must we not do the same, friends? Holy Week is simply about God's love for you and me and dying on the cross. He beat death once and for all and rose to new life on Easter Sunday morning. The lesson is simple. Either you can become wrapped in fear, angry, and despairing in your sufferings, or by embracing that cross you have been given in life, uniting it with Jesus on the cross, build up hope, faith, and love.